Hi there, I am Mrs. Bursto. I am going to be doing some phonemic awareness activities with you. Phonemic awareness is the understanding that words are made up of individual sounds. So lots of these tasks are based on sound. So you'll be listening carefully to me and repeating lots of the things that I say. The first job is rhyming. So what I will do is I will say two words first, showing you with my hand on my chest. When I put my hand like this, it means it is your turn to repeat those two words. So let's have a go. If I said sat mat, you would say sat mat. Good, because they both rhyme and they sound the same at the end. Okay, let's keep going. Van can. Wing sing. Hem gem. Nod rod. Cup, pup. The next job that we are going to do is we are going to be looking at the beginning sound. So that is the first sound in words. I will say it first and then I would like you to copy me. So if I say may, mm, your turn will be to say may, mm. Let's have a go. Girl, get. Let. Uh. He foot key k. Great job. The next job is blending words. So we're going to start with two separate words. Your left hand is the first word and your right hand is the second word. So you're going to mirror my hands. I will say two parts, so I might say airport, and then I'll put it together to say airport. I will do it first, and then it will be your turn, so you are listening this time. Gum, drop, gum drop, your turn. Hair, cut, haircut. Work, out, work out. Hand, made, handmade. Out, side, outside. Great, the next job we are doing is we are listening to the final sound, which is the sound at the end of the word. So similar to when we were listening to the beginning sound, but now we are listening to the sound at the end of the word. So I will do it first and then it will be your turn. So if I say down, n, mm, you would say down, n. Mm. Next one, off, f, bus, s, have, m, mm. ran, n, mm. did, Great job. The next task that we are going to be doing is a segmenting task. So we will start with the word together in the middle and then we're going to segment it, which means we're going to break it up into the two parts. I will say the compound word first and break it up and then you will copy and you will have a turn after me. So let's have a practice. If I said teaspoon, teaspoon, you would say teaspoon, teaspoon. Okay, let's go. My turn. Notebook, notebook. Seafood, seafood. Moonlight, moonlight. Pine cone, pine cone. The next job is adding words. So we will start with one word and then we're going to add another part to the end of it to make a new word. So if I said, say the word lady, you would say lady. Add bug, the new word is ladybug. So let's practice another one. Can you say in? 
and side, the word is inside. Can you say up? Add stairs, the word is upstairs. Can you say door? Add bell, the word is doorbell. The next job is deleting words. So we'll start with the whole word and then we're going to take part of that word away. So if I said, say fireman, you would say fireman. Without man, the word is fire. Can you say bookmark? Without mark, the word is book. Can you say bookcase? Without case, the word is book. Can you say bookend? Without end, the word is book. The last job we are going to do is our nursery rhyme. So we're keeping on going with Little Miss Muffet. I will say the first line and then I want you to repeat me. Then I'll say the next line and then you repeat me. So we'll do the whole poem broken up first and then we'll do the whole poem together. So my turn. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet. Your turn. Eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Great, now we're going to say the whole nursery rhyme together. Let's go. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Great job, you have done a fantastic job with me in this learning activity. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you keep doing lots of learning at home and keep healthy and safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.